Thank you. Dan McCann, please go ahead. Thank you, um, Mr. Chair. Um, I'm Beth McCann, the district attorney here in Denver, and I come before you as a person who prosecutes the worst things that people do to each other. I go to homicide scenes and I see the terrible results of injuries caused by handguns. But at least with handguns, there's an entry wound and an exit wound. And the body is generally intact other than those small wounds. If a person is killed by an assault weapon, the body is essentially blown apart. The bullets travel three times faster and they, these weapons are designed so that these bullets explode uh, and cause devastation and unimaginable grief to loved ones. Pictures were not shown of the children in Sandy Hook whose little bodies were blown apart by, these assault, by the assault weapon used. The same with Parkland and others. In, Aurora, in the Aurora Theater shooting, we know that 12 people were killed but 60 others were injured. Chunks of their bodies were blown off. These weapons are designed to kill as many people as possible in as short a time as possible. They are not used for legitimate hunting. Who wants to blow apart the elk that you might later want to consume? Who wants to blow apart the elk? Blow apart the elk. Blow apart the elk. These one of the most disturbing things about us here in law enforcement in Denver, things we have seen recently, is the rise in guns in the hands of juveniles. Having an AR-15 has now become a status symbol. You can see kids holding them and bragging about them on social media, if you look. We see it frequently here in Denver. It's terrifying. It is beyond comprehension that we cannot agree on this. We had a federal assault weapons ban for many years under a Republican president. The world did not come to an end, and the data shows that firearms death decreased during that time. At a time when we can't go a week without a mass shooting, I implore you to pass this bill. Thank you. Thank you. Please go ahead. Rep. Armagost, then back to Rep. Woodrow. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, my question, stems from concern about narrative that I think we're gonna, we've already heard today that I think we're gonna hear more of today. <clears throat> and starting that an AR-15 cannot be used as a hunting rifle because it will blow an animal apart. Blow apart the elk. Um, my question to that as a hunter and an avid shooter and gun owner is, and this can be for anyone on the panel, the, uh, the, if anyone knows the difference between, or first of all, if anyone knows what the caliber is of an AR-15, standard AR-15 rifle on the panel. So Rep. Armagast, you're, you're inviting a response from anyone on the panel? Uh, yes. All right, and, and committee, you know, when we have uh, fewer witnesses than this, I sometimes allow, you know, multiple different answers. I think uh, for any question, just given where we are today, when we have a question like that, we'll, we'll let the panel sort it out. Who's going to speak to that? I think just to keep us moving, we'll have one response only. So whoever would like to speak to the, the question we just heard. I don't think any of us really know. Okay. Can I just real quick to that? Rep. Armagost. Just real quick. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And the answer is 5.56 by 223. It's slightly larger projectile than a 22 caliber bullet. The reason it's not used in a hunting, uh, as a hunting rifle is it's not big enough to take down small game or large game. It's large enough for small game, but not large game. It's, you can't, it's not even recommended for a deer, let alone an elk, because you wouldn't be able to take an animal down with one shot. Whereas like a 30-06, which is a 30 caliber uh, that was invented for the military in 1906 is recommended for deer, but it's not even big enough to take down an elk. So I just want to clarify for narrative and moving forward today so we can avoid misconceptions about what the caliber actually is. Thank you. 